Get in, loser. We're going shopping. Hey guys, Rich with Rich Rebuilds here, and this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The bookies have closed, and the bets are in, and I've won. Oh. That's right, since some have made bets saying this thing wouldn't move, and as a result, Uncle Rich has a little bit more spending bread. So I've upgraded to a black card. Jay-Z will be proud. Sponsoring this payday is Current a new mobile bank account that comes with a Visa debit card that has no minimum balance and none of those silly overdraft or hidden fees, which are gross. One of the things I truly appreciate about this premium black card is getting your paycheck faster. Since I just cleaned house in the ERAT, I was able to set up my direct deposit with Current and got my money two days before everyone else. Haha, <laughs> jokes on all the haters. But really, the app is fast with smart notifications about your money and personalized savings pods to help you save your paycheck. It's better than the old banks and built for modern life in a way those other banks are not. For the price of nada, you can get current on your iPhone or Android right now. It takes an average of two minutes to sign up and your current card will be sent to you right away, all without rude fees. And getting cash from Sam Crack was faster since he clearly can't win any bets he makes with me. Yo, rich homie rich. You finally succeeded after a solid run of L's. About time, homie. Guess that means I owe you a little guap. I know you're on that current app. I'll settle it there soon. Just be patient, man. Like me, who's been waiting over a year for you to finish that darn Tesla rebuild. Peace out, Elon's brother from another mother. Thank you, Current, for sponsoring this video. Now, after countless attempts to Frankenstein two worlds into one, I think I have this thing ready for prime time. But let's take a trip down memory lane first. I wanted to be reckless and impulsively bid on a zero electric motorcycle at auction, and I won it at IAA for the great price of 3200 bucks. Why is that so great, you ask? Because you're not going to get a battery pack, motor controller, and logging for that price anywhere. But after I got the bike, I realized, you know what? I'm not really a bike person anymore. Plus, I already have a Corvette and a Humvee for my midlife crisis, but I just can't let this bike go to waste. So I just so happened to have this 1930s rat rod I bought on Craigslist on Impulse. It had a Chevy 305, which nobody wants a Chevy 305. The Chevy 305 is like the kick cereal of engines. No one liked kick cereal, and if you enjoy kick cereal over Captain Crunch or the other brands, you probably also own a piece of antiquated technology in your home, such as a curved television. So I ended up selling it to a subscriber for 300 bucks. Then I had an idea to merge these two worlds into one, take the bike and the rat rod together. So I made a coupler, grinded like I was at a high school dance, wore flip-flops while working with hot things, well did, uses duct tape where appropriate, bloodied myself, snaked some wires, configured a brake pedal, mounted a battery, installed the dash, had some seats reupholstered, made a throttle from the handlebars off the bike, which you gotta admit is pretty damn slick, tightened about 80% of the things up, and then found the coupler to merge the electric motor to the transmission. Spline was off center. Womp womp. I needed to get that fixed. So I have a good friend that works at a place called Desktop Metal, which makes 3D printed metal. Yes, not those lousy plastic print kiosks that showed up at malls and quickly disappeared, but metal. So I gave them my eyeballed coupler and said, do your magic. The process is to make a cat of a part, send that to a printer that works just like the thing at your terrible office cubicle, only 50 times cooler. Then they go into a D-bind, then a center and an oven that rivals Bertucci's brick oven pizza. So let me show you the result. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Some good ass Mountain Dew. Okay, so this is the original part that Lee and I made together. Now this part's pretty complex. It's actually made out of three different parts. One, this is part of the clutch assembly when it was in the car. Two, this middle section is made of a scrap piece of metal that Lee and I found in the trash. And three, this last part is at the original motorcycle sprocket. Now, obviously, there's a lot of things wrong with this. Number one, it's not even centered in the first place. So when I went to Desktop Metal, they actually analyzed this and said, this could actually be a lot simpler of a part. So when I sent this to them, they scanned the entire thing, took a lot of measurements, and they came up with a really cool and interesting uh, part to this. They came up with this. Look how much more simple this is. Uh, this is where the motor shaft goes in, and this is where the transmission goes. It's a lot simpler than this part, as you can see. It's smaller, it's lighter, it's more compact, and it just makes a lot more sense. So this goes on here originally, which is definitely a lot uh, to take on. It's a lot heavier. It actually weighs <laughs> the front shaft of the motor on, and uh, this one's definitely a lot better. 
So we're gonna try this part for the rat raw as opposed to this one, but I'm definitely gonna keep this one because it's actually a really cool part and he worked really hard on it. I may actually give it to him, you never know. Uh, but this is a new part and uh, I'm pumped to get this on. So before installation in typical Rich fashion, I ended up losing the key for the motor shaft. Lee said he happened to have about 10 on hand, so I brought the motor there to see if we could install it. I'm gonna get the filings, cut it, and not jam, and also dull the file out. Okay. What do you think, Rich? I think it's gonna work. Let's do it, Lee. Insert it. Let's do it. You want me to put it in? Yes. Do you want to guide it in? Now. Now the dilemma is getting the rat rod to a private road that we can test it on. I don't have my Tacoma anymore and my Humvee doesn't have a tow hitch yet, but I distinctly remember a few months ago I installed a hidden hitch from eTrailer.com on a live stream on Dolores. So why not use Dolores? As you know, boys and girls, we have choices for everything. The thing I have to do now is get the rat rod up to a place that I can actually test the 0 to 60 time. And unfortunately, the new Humvee I just got doesn't have the right connectors at the back to actually tow stuff with. I have like a really strange 24 pin connector here based on the 24 volt system, and that's not gonna work just yet. I gotta get this rat rod somewhere, and I am think I'm gonna use Dolores to do it, actually. Sir, are you using this as a tow vehicle, sir? No, sir. Sir, are you sure you're not using this to tow a vehicle, sir? No, sir, I am using it for testing purposes. Okay. All right, now here we go with this. Uh, I actually got this thing home miraculously, and uh, I really don't know how this is gonna end up. The goal is to get the rat rod onto this trailer. This thing was banging and clanging everywhere. But honestly, I think once I get some load on the back of it, it might make things a little bit easier and quiet it down. But I'm really wondering how this is gonna go, because this is gonna be definitely very, very, very interesting. So I got the car in the trailer, and how did it do? It did well, very well actually. The Tesla has more than enough power to pull this thing. I even stopped the supercharge and created quite the stir. Now you guys have lots of things to say about this build and the number one thing is that there's no way in hell that this tiny motor meant for an electric motorcycle can move an actual car. Well, today we're gonna find out. Complete Sorry, John, silence. You gotta come on in. Really? In the passenger seat. Oh, Could support both of us? Lee? We're gonna find out, you know. Oh, oh, oh I'm scared. <sighs> okay. All right, Lee. Stay. I'm worried. Let's do All this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh. You know what we gotta do too, Lee? Look at it, when he accelerates, yeah. the whole drivetrain jumps. Go ahead, do it again, Chris. That's think... first. That's first, so right next. That's first, right next so to the So where is his transmission mount? There is none. Okay. This is first, back is second, third was up. First, second, third. It was yeah. going pretty good, in, even yeah. in second it, it felt. It goes pretty good in second, but it accelerates way better in first. Okay. That's when you tell you. He almost oh, roasted it. What are you doing right now? You're making a bracket? Yeah, for the transmission. Uh, how old do I look like with these glasses when I keep on doing that? Well, we asked before how... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> um, All right, did anybody answer that? I didn't look. I don't think so. I don't know. Did you even put it up? How old am I? How old is we? We're not live right now, are we? No. It's yeah, sick. That's time to stick as hell. Let's stick it in a snicker. Let's stick it in a bowl of oatmeal, Lee. <laughs> So after some hard launches, the motor creates so much torque off the line, and it's so light, it literally tries to lift the transmission out of the car. So Lee and I had to make some transmission mounts, and after we made the tranny mounts, it's time to have some fun.
I can say this is one of the most fun cars I've ever driven. It's a lightweight chassis, it's quick. The motor gives instant electric torque and a three-speed manual transmission with regenerative braking and gets to highway speeds without issue. The steering wheel is tiny, which makes it feel like you're driving a go-kart. This thing is absolutely awesome. The rat rod is done, yes, a completed project, but I got a second zero, yes, I have another motorcycle from IAA. Remember, these things are awesome to have around in case you want to convert something. A little known fact is that a zero motor has been put in the electric T-Rex that does zero to 60 in three seconds. The electric three-wheeled Vanderhall, an electric freaking plane, yes, and an electric plane. Someone took a zero motorcycle motor and put it in a plane. A zero engineer actually reached out to me to send me some of the parts I'll need for the second bike and also told me how to wire two battery packs together to get enhanced range. Shout out to him. I'm just really excited because I'm not used to this kind of treatment from a manufacturer. And shout out again to Current for helping me take this money that I rightfully earned from the doubters, Sam. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like what you see, support this Pony Ride on Patreon. And don't forget to check me out on Instagram, at Richie B. Kid. I will see you all soon. Go. <laughs> <laughs>